All right, guys, I have no idea where this video is going to show up and when, but uh, it's going to be just a quick update. I haven't been putting any videos out because I have been really busy. Spring is kind of among us, and boy, I got a lot of stuff going, and uh, I'll get into some of that in a minute. Avalanche, uh, you know, I kind of cussed that guy, mechanic, saying that the low oil pressure is not causing the issue. Now I'm not so sure that's entirely accurate. I actually started it. The other day, uh, I don't know if I put this on the video because I'm just kind of rehashing in here. But anyway, I drove down the street. It probably ran three or four minutes. Drove it down the street, let it sit 10, 15 minutes in front of his place. And I heard it getting louder and louder. And it ended up, it didn't have any oil pressure. So uh, when I took off, it, 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 it you know, picked it right back up again and the noises all went away. But um, now I'm wondering if that guy may be right. It may have dropped a lifter when it loses oil pressure. However, I changed the valve cover gasket and the coil packs the other day. Um, and it looks like somebody has been in it recently. It's very, very clean inside, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, so that one is going to get another motor. Uh, it still runs and drives, but it's not right, and I can't sell it or have my wife drive it. Shut up. Everybody needs dogs. Anyway, um, so that's that. Now, the other videos you've probably already seen me. I worked on my lawnmower, and... <laughs> I did not really get into this. This thing is now in 10,000 pieces, this lawn boy. Uh, I had to order some parts for it. Uh, they'll be here today, tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not really sure when they're going to be here. So I did find some issues with it as I took it apart. And um, so I may add this to that last lawn boy. Or now nah, it may be first. But I've got some videos on this one coming up, I guess. Maybe I better say that along with the lawnmower. I know you guys aren't probably lawnmower fans, but I figure, you know, it's got a motor that runs and drives. Mustang. Took it for a drive the other day, shut it off. It was warm. Um, went to go restart it about eight, ten minutes later and had it really labored turning over to start. So it's a little fat on time and I think the starter's about gone. So got to be really careful there. Plus it was making really terrible sounds when I started up water pump possibly. And I just replaced that. So I don't know. So I'll have to look into that sometime. I will get the, uh, the MGL probably tomorrow. I have to work Sunday. Uh, today is actually Good Friday. Uh, I have to work because I got something going. We're trying to refinance. It doesn't matter. We got a lot of stuff going. Okay, something else I had to do. This I built the other day. Um, we have our niece staying with us and her mother because of the that big ugly car crash that she had here the other. You know, it's been I think it was March 8th, and um, we have the only walk-in shower, so they're staying with us. So I had to build this real quick. I added a, almost eight foot by eight foot onto the concrete that was already here. And uh, then, um, of course, then put some railing and stuff and then an eight foot long ramp. Could have been a little longer, but it ended up out in the driveway that way. And I just bought some indoor outdoor carpet, which uh, actually is really nice stuff. But uh, wow, I didn't realize how much, how much that stuff costs. <laughs> so anyway, today mode Got to get the weed eater out here in a little bit. And then tomorrow we have to go move the apartment that the niece was in because obviously she's not going to be in it for two or three months. So uh, there's no sense of paying for it. It was a month-to-month -month lease anyway. So it's going to go away. I have not really been over the building. Uh, boy's car is not getting anywhere. It seems like it's never ending. But uh, as you can see, it's spring. Our little uh, Bradford pair looks good. I believe that's what that is. We put that in a few years ago. There's some over across the street there, Caddy Corner. Beautiful trees when they bloom. We get a lot of them down the street there. There's a big one too. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, anyway, uh, not much of a shade tree yet, but it's coming along. So anyway, it's like I said, it's still March, but it's already time to do yard work. I got rid of a bunch of leaves and now I'm going to have to go and pick up some branches and then uh, uh, do some weed eating. So everything should be green next time you see this. Uh, Anyway, guys, just a quick update. And so, you know, you know, and then we got the neighbor's dogs that everybody needs to have. So, anyway, car-related stuff, uh, things that are coming. Um, trying to think here. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, you know, it's interesting. Why don't we get into that real quick? I uh, uh, have that new. That new uh, reader I bought, um, and, uh, 
me dig it out. I know I've already showed you some other videos on it. And it's not plugged in. The battery's not even hooked up on this thing. Uh, I know it's dark in here. Sorry, let me try it this way. Oh, it's way too bright there. Anyway, this does live data. And so when it's running, I can hit live data and I can actually kind of see what's going on. And I've told you this before. To me, it's kind of hieroglyphics because it, it doesn't tell me anything. And I need to do some research to find out what these numbers are. I have not had time, honestly. I am just, I am just flat out of time. Well, anyway, what I did notice was while this thing was running, the timing... Um, boy, when you first give it gas, it would, you know, we're talking, I think it'd go up to 34 to almost 40. Was it almost 40? No, nah, I don't think it was that high. But I think it was like 34 degrees advanced when you first give it to gas. And it was normally running in the 20 range, you know, and then into the 30s when you're going down the road. And unless you let off, of course, and it dropped the timing. But what I was surprised about was... I know he was being a little gentle because of the mileage on the motor, but when he, he when my, my tuner tuned that Malibu, I've always thought that it had more in it. And I'm going to go get that car possibly tomorrow and bring it over here and do a live on it because, and I might even put it on my pickup, which is sitting over there, and try to find out what the live is on that to see if somebody's maybe messed with this thing because it's not it's not pinging or anything. But what I found is, if I think he told me he only put that Malibu at like 30, 20, 28 degrees of timing. If that's the case, it looks like, judging by how this one's running, and it's heavier, and, and it's not making any funny sounds, and I'm running 91 in it, where I'm, not, I'm running 87 in this one. So... If that's the case, I think I'm going to have him swing by and hook back up and give me a lot more timing because I think that's part of my problem. Because the car, once you get it wound up, it doesn't have any trouble spinning the tires. But boy, 0 to 20 is not all that spectacular. And I know I've not done a drive you know, while I was running deal with it, uh, at least not one that worked. And by the way, I've been working on my editing software, and I actually kind of figured it out. So one of the videos, which will be coming up, it's kind of long, but it's on that Avalanche uh, transfer case rebuild that I've been talking about. Um, I actually have already done it, and I've been messing with the editing and managed to get two or three of the videos together. Now, they don't soften and out of each other. It's kind of abrupt, but uh, yeah, I'm still learning. So um, anyway, uh, I'll, so I'll get that one out here in the next uh, two or three days if I can, and then... Uh, um, then we'll kind of go from there. So anyway, guys, just a quick update on what's going on, and this is the reason why I haven't put any videos out. And uh, I'll get this one out today, and then um, I'll start getting some more. I'm not going to call it automotive-related stuff, but but uh, engine-related stuff because I am far from an expert on lawn boys, and I'm far from an expert on riding lawnmowers. But I've had them long enough to know how they work and and you know kind of what they do. And the lawn boy is such a cool motor to work at. If if you if you ever want to just mess with something that is really cool, really reliable, not too many moving parts, a lawn boy, especially the older ones, of course, that are two-stroke, they're the ones that are just, you can pick them up from people, pretty reasonable, as long as they didn't uh, get carried away and, and, and didn't mix the, the oil good enough, you know, the, the gas oil mix, your two-stroke mix, as long as they didn't hose that up, these motors will almost last forever. As long as you're running them, you know, running a good oil in them and stuff in your mix and don't run them lean, get, you know, let them get really hot. They're not super powerful, um, but uh, anyway, they're really cool and, and I, I kind of enjoy messing with stuff that's kind of unique out of the ordinary for me anyway because I don't, you know, I, you know, I'll, I'll tear apart a transfer case, I'll tear apart a motor, I'll, uh, you know, I'll rebuild all kinds of stuff. But some of the most intimidating things for me to work on is single cylinder engines. I, I don't know really why that is, but that's kind of how I've always felt. They've always seemed to be a bit intimidating. Well, the only way you learn is grab a hold of it, get over your fears, and just tear it apart. I looked at it like this. This thing was to the point where it, it wouldn't start anymore, and so I had to do something. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I did. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here, and uh, you'll see another video on this one to get it to start putting it back together or whatever. And like I said, there's going to be videos of me kind of half taking it apart and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. So you guys have a good weekend.